well, then in games like that where it just starts to break and you know, the luck starts to go into that, and then all of a sudden the avalanche comes. And, and you know what? Uh, you know, I'm proud of our guys. It's an outstanding team we beat, uh, outstanding program. And uh, you know, it's one night. I think the guys were hungry to try to win the tournament. And the guys in our team won this tournament at Christmas. And uh, I think that was the real work for us to just try to win the tournament. You did say last night that you wanted to see where you guys were at. I mean, you've been waiting for it. Yeah, you know what? But again, I mean, it's, you know, you asterisk it because they're missing a couple of the, you know, a couple of you were hurt and they're really young back there. But, you know, to our credit, we're a better team than Houston scores and Raul scores and Conrad scores. You know, I, I was anxious to watch how our team would play. I was anxious to see how Adam would play. You know, in a game like this, and obviously we played very well. And, and uh, that has to be our foundation. I thought our team did a pretty good job tonight. We had to, took, I think, a few minutes to adjust to their speed and their tenacity around the net and their, their strength with their sticks. Um, but obviously, the special needs were important. Power play and a short game tonight. So, you know, just to think, I liked our team this weekend, not just tonight, but last night. I thought we had to play hard on the air for us. We had a good week of preparation, uh, getting ready for the tournament. Uh, it looked like Hollow was screaming when he left the ice. Yeah, he got dinged a little bit, and uh, he'll get evaluated tomorrow. And he'll just wait to see what he's going to do. Does it look like Hollow is doing We're waiting for a game like that from your top line. Well, I think that you know, it's nice to see Dukes have a smile on his face after the game, and I thought that uh, they set the tone. And obviously, Raul was very good tonight, and tonight's just wrong the net. And, uh, you know, I thought Con you know, had, had a strong weekend. And, uh, those are a few of the guys that you know, had to start to elevate their play for us to grow another level as a team. Dukestead got the dirty goal first, and then yeah. it just it kind of, then yeah, all of a sudden, to, after that, he just made a dazzling. Yeah, it's not all about you know, lasering the puck from 40 feet. I mean, if you want to score goals this game, you've got to go to those areas. And, you know, I thought we were better than some of those areas this weekend. We generated some chances. Um, and we made a mistake, Adam was there to feel that. So, um, again, it's one of those nights I never dreamed of being on these seven. Nothing in the third period. I've been on the other side of that, and it just, it just happens. And you had, I mean, you kind of mentioned where you guys had had few weekends by name the other day, I and mean, that's got to be uh, you know, a little Yeah, it is. I mean, I think they know what I mean. They, they, had, they had not scored at the level that I think they're capable of, but not because they haven't been trying, it just it hadn't happened. And, you know, I think when you start putting some pucks away or getting some points, and you just you feel better about yourself. And you, know, you walk a little tall, and uh, nothing's worse for an offensive player than when you're struggling to score. It just kind of weighs down on them because they think they're pride in that element of the game. But we had good contributions from a lot of guys this week, and that's what we have to have from here on out. It really seemed like in the first half, uh, you stat especially was gripping the stick pretty tight. What do you think this weekend will do for his Well, confidence? I mean, I think that uh, he probably hit four or five pipes the first half, and all people have gone in. And, you know, that, that's what we have to have. I mean, I guess that even when he was hitting those pipes, it wasn't really right. He's still going to get 20 plus goals this year. I mean, this year, it's all said and done. And, uh, I, I just like the Condon score, I like that. Uh, our guys that we need to score, including Warning, scored two goals this, this week in our top top couple lines. And score. Uh, are you feeling a lot better just because of these two games about the team as a whole now? Do you, do you know, well, feel we get, like you're seeing what you need? Well, I mean, we've only lost two games in that opponent, and we lost three all year long. But uh, this was a good test because we're going to go to the ball opponent. And uh, the next one, same thing in a week from Tuesday, we go to the end. I mean, they may be number one when they go in here. So. But I think our fans appreciate it uh, this game. Uh, they like to see us play good quality opponents. They, they appreciate the brand of hockey. And, you know, DC's that name school. And, you know, Notre Dame will be in next. And, you know, then we have Akers and North Dakota. So it, it starts. You know, the, 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 uh, the grind to the, to the finish line with that segment. And we have a week off here at the end of January. And, it, it, and it's the match sprint. But, uh, you know, this was important for them. Uh, we're 7 0 in the conference, which is great. We've got one more non-conference game to go, and then we can concentrate back and get to play. But uh, this is an important win for us. And again, you play them four years in a row now? Well, yes, it's going to be two here, then it's one with uh, BC and Northeastern, and Northeastern comes for two, so we wouldn't play in that okay. year. Then we go back there and play in BC and Northeastern one. Okay. So three of the next four years? Yes. Okay. Yeah.